I'm back again. We're gonna do a quick smoke session, real, real quick. I mean, quick. We're gonna do a quick wake and bake. Today is just February 3rd. January came and went like it has somewhere to be. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and let's just get straight into this video. Bad bitch, and I got bad anxiety. People call me rude because I ain't letting them try me. Saying I'm a hoe because I'm in love with my body. Issues, but nobody I can talk to about it. Giving room. Bad face. I just got my nails done. Let me show you my nails. I'm also wearing a hoodie from a friend of mine's clothing brand. I will leave the link for it down below just in case you guys are interested in purchasing and supporting the brand. But it's 12.14 and I'm ready to smoke. I haven't been up since like 7.30, 8 a.m. Because the laundry opens at 8. So I had to go do my laundry first because I'm off today. And I had to just run some quick little errands. So I did my laundry this morning at 8 am just so i could be in and out i did not want to wait i did not want to risk none of that so yeah i did my laundry mad early and then after i did my laundry i ran to the nail salon got my nails done real quick went and got me some food and came back home because i wanted to try and get a video out to you guys because i'm being productive so far today so i'm like let me just do a video too it's already been four or five days so it's about that time again and I'm really feeling this sweater like this sweater is nice and thick. I just came in the house so I'm like half dressed. I got on shorts in this sweater still but this shit is super thick. Like when I say before I went outside and I was just walking around in the house I was damn near ready to bust a sweat. That's that good quality material. So make sure y'all click the link down below and support. Browse. See if y'all like something on there. Whatever. But yeah I didn't even feel like bought going to do my hair or my eyebrows or my lashes today because mm, it's just a chill day it's like two degrees outside it's mad windy so yeah i just want it to be a chill calm day let me light this blunt and let's get into this smoke session because i need it boy if you don't a quick topic that i wanted to touch on because Y'all know sometimes my smoke sessions don't be having topics. Today I ain't even have a specific topic I wanted to talk to y'all about. But I just more so wanted to vent. This is going to be like a point of view video. Like we on FaceTime and I'm just telling y'all about what grinds my gears. Because I've been noticing a few things. And it's just like. Because even. Let me just say this first. When I speak on certain things. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going through it. Maybe. I got a friend who going through this. Maybe I done seen somebody write something on Facebook and it just makes me, sparks a conversation for me. I mean, I don't know. It don't always have to be me, but I've been noticing a few things because I do have some friends that are older. So that means their women are older. So one thing I don't see for myself happening, God forbid, because I don't want to jinx myself, but I just don't see myself being 40 and miserable. Like, there's nothing wrong with having kids. I'm only 27. I'm turning 28 in May. Like, there's nothing wrong with having kids if you have kids already. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with having kids, whether you marry, whatever you decided to do at the time. There's nothing wrong with that. But when it gets to a point where you... Like, when I'm 40... I don't want to be in a situation where I'm dating a dude, right? And I got to go through his phone and then be calling who he dating. Or calling whoever little numbers that I see that he texting. Once I'm 40 and I got two, three of your kids. And I'm, it's no need for that anymore. I just, oh, it just be, it be the women going back and forth on Facebook and shit like that. And nowadays you would think that it's the younger generation, but it's the old the bitches that's just old and miserable like i seen that sh mm. and that shit just struck a nerve for me because it's like common sense is not common and we all don't think the same that's a given but at the same time to a certain extent you gotta want more for yourself you can't just be out here losing yourself in a nigga and you're you're over 40 like oh that's good for you baby like that shit is crazy to me. 
I just had to get that off my chest real quick because mm -mm, you 40 doing shit that people in their early 20s, late teenage years are doing. Like, imagine me being 40 dating a nigga and he messing around with a chick that's 23. Now, here my 40 something year old ass go calling this 23 year old girl who probably don't know nothing about me to go and why are you. Y'all not tired of doing that? If at, at this age right now that I'm at, I don't even want to do that anymore. I'm not even doing that no more. If I got to press a nigga, if I got to look for you in the daytime with a flashlight, if I got to do any of that, I don't want to be with you. I just, I can't do it. I think I'm going to put my camera down in a second. Because we haven't done a sit down video in a minute. I had to put my camera down because I'm moving around and stuff like that. And I don't want the camera to just be all shaky and moving around and shit but yeah like i was saying i just mm -hmm. i don't see myself being 40 plus still calling people phone still doing the whole nine like mm -mm. Mm -mm. like uh-uh i'm not doing it i remember i was talking to a guy one time and i didn't had a female call my phone shorty it's like these females they'll know everything about you y'all the ops i keep telling y'all y'all are the ops you won't know nothing about them. And then they just feel so, like, it's just annoying. It grind my gears. No, I haven't gone through nothing like this. I'm not even talking to nobody to be having these problems, but it's just literally something that came in my head because it really gets me tight when females do do that when you are talking to somebody. Like, how are you mad at me because I'm talking to somebody and I didn't know nothing about you? What? Did you calling my phone to argue with me when you need to be talking to that nigga because he the one that owe you the loyalty, not me. We don't even know each other. Like, bitches are weird. Like, <laughs> bitches are weird. Like, everybody had that time where, you know, they act crazy for somebody or we all, we went all out and we was doing the whole nine. But no. We getting too old. That shit is, that shit is not it. And if you're not already, make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram. Y'all know I'll include the link down below. And I'll also include a screenshot of it so y'all know what the fuck y'all looking for. But yeah, that shit really gets me tight. I'm going to have to do a story time on some of my old little things that I actually went through. And my camera's dying. So I'm going to have to charge it and come back to y'all real quick. Because I thought I charged it up already, but... One eternity later. First of all, let's just do a time check real quick. Because I said, hold on. My camera's dying. I'm like, oh, I'm going to put it on the charger real quick. And then I'm going to come back. You know, finish my blunt, finish my little smoke session, my little smoke session or whatever. Com complaining about these 40-year-old miserable ass bitches. So... It's 4.01. First of all, I don't even remember what time I started recording. We're going to put that time here and the time it is right now here. Because ain't no way I'm just not finishing this video. But my twin sister called me and she needed me. So, you know I had to go handle that real quick. So, I had to drive 20 miles to the edge of Long Island. She had to go pick up her car real quick. So, now we back. And now I really need a blunt. So... It's time to smoke again. My sister called me, so I went to cut to go pick up her car. Then we stopped um, to see AJ because she don't work too far from where we were. So we were just like, let's just go stop and see AJ real quick. So we did that, and now I'm back in the house. It's 4.02. I'm hot. My heat coming up again, and I don't like how that be sounding in my videos when I be playing it back. But it don't matter. My camera's fully charged. It's time to finish this smoke session and let's just talk so like i was saying before i was rudely interrupted but she's being 40 and miserable like don't be mad at me or anybody else who's young because you decided to have kids with a nigga who hit no bitches that are our age but, like we young with fresh legs that got nothing to do with us you want to be mad you be mad but you take that up with yourself you look at what you're not doing as to why you feel like 
as to why your man is probably out here looking for which is my age or better like but enough to in my own home because i'm gonna keep venting about it so much y'all gonna think i went through something but yeah i just had to touch on that topic real quick because bitch be having two and three and four kids by by four and five niggas and then be looking at a bitch like me no kids i work got my own crib got my own car have two businesses like and they just be like that's why your nigga want to talk to me bitch because i'm on my shit and i didn't play the role that you tried to play like but yeah I'm all over the place right now. It's just I'm a little what's the word? Come 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 foggle, come boggle. Like my mind's a little fuzzy right now. And then I hate when the heat is coming up. Because then when I try to edit this video, all I'm gonna be hearing is a little hissing noise, like. But when I move, hopefully it don't be sounding the same way. Like the way my shit be buzzing you would thought I lived in a project and I don't even live in the hood. So it's like, no offense to the people that do, but girl, I dead don't live in her. But yeah, today was calm. I can't really complain. At least I wasn't stuck in too much traffic doing that drive. Then back, I wanted to bring my camera, but my camera was busy charging. And now it's charged, so we could finish the video, but it would have been cute to bring it, you know, a little random road trip, because that shit was basically a road trip. It took me an hour to get there, an hour to get back. Then I had to drive 30 minutes to my sister's house just to go get her, so. Uh. Today was eventful and very much so not planned, but it don't matter. We got done everything we needed to get done. But yeah, let's talk about more eventful things like Beyonce announcing her tour. Chris Brown announcing his tour. Glorilla's on tour. Glorilla and friends, I should say, because her and her little girl gang, they all on tour together. Like, it's just a lot going on. The girls are getting to the bed. A young boy did an um, a interview on Billboard. I'm going to insert the clip. Got me. Man, look at the shit I spoke about. Look at the shit I put in these people's ears. My man was shaking. I'm just like, I hope my man is okay. Cause I'm watching that shit. I'm sitting here smoking, chilling. I'm watching that interview and I'm like, nah, he's dead. Got the shakes. Like he's, you could hear him stutter in his words because he's shaking so hard while he talks. So he just sound like he real shaky in the voice and shaky in the body. Like, and he wasn't even smoking on camera doing none of that. I'm just looking at him. I'm just like, yeah. Cause if you know, you know. No boys fight me, my man, my man, my man, my man. But yeah, I don't want this video to be too long. Today was very eventful in itself. Like I just want to edit this and post this video today, cause I've been gone for like, let me see how long I've been gone. Five days, and I got like over ten new subscribers. So it was like, <laughs> so it was like, mmm. I want to keep my consistency going. And just keep posting for y'all. I wanted to do a video today. Like a transformation of me getting cute. And doing um. Like you know my eyebrows probably do a full face makeup. Because I haven't played a makeup in a minute. Or done like let alone do a full face of makeup. So I'm just like hmm. Maybe I should do that. But the fact that. A good couple hours was just taken out of my day and I didn't even expect for that to happen. I just gotta reset real quick, get myself back into the recording mode and just figure it out. Maybe I'll do that tonight. I don't know. Because it's like I'm way too late and I gotta wipe it off. But I really wanna play in some makeup. It's been a minute and in my memories, like a lot of videos of me when I used to do my makeup a lot was popping up and I'm just looking at myself like I'm really a badass bitch. Like this y'all need to stop playing with my phone thing. Oh, uh, and go get my hair done. But I'm really waiting until it gets a little bit closer to Valentine's Day. Because I don't know if I want to take some pictures. Like some last minute Valentine's Day pictures or not. So we shall see. I see I'm going to do a video of me transforming myself. Getting cute. Doing my hair. Doing my eyebrows and all that. Because I'm looking like. Who's shot you right now? But it don't matter. Because the skin is skinny. And yeah. 
bitch, and I got bad anxiety. People call me rude cause I ain't letting them try me. Saying I'm a hoe cause I'm in love with my body. Issues, but nobody I can talk to about it.